Hi everyone. Today we are going to be folding and cutting papel picado. I'm using tissue paper. It's very, very delicate, so let's be nice and careful with it. So just like with the other style that I showed in my other video, we have a rectangle of tissue paper and it's a long rectangle. I'm going to start by folding the top edge down, just like that. This is folded about one inch or two centimeters. Then I flip it over and fold it like this in half. So I make sure that these edges are lined up and then I carefully press my fold down. So now I have a rectangle that's half of my previous rectangle. Really, really important step. I have a fold. I have one side of my paper that's open and I have a folded side of my paper. I'm going to turn this rectangle so my folded side is at the top and my open side is at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top folded edge and make it meet with this edge right here of my first fold. So to do that, I like to put my finger right here where I'm starting the fold and I'm bringing this folded edge down to meet up with this right here. I'm not folding it all the way. I'm just folding it to right here. Okay, so I fold it like that and I press it down. Now, it's not perfectly lined up here. That's totally fine, okay? Now, I'm going to do that again. So instead of here, I'm going to be folding from here. This line is now going to meet up with this line. So again, I'm holding it here and I'm folding it in the same direction like this and pressing it down. So now I have something that looks kind of like a paper airplane and it should be a nice long skinny triangle. So. From here, what I'll be doing is I'm going to cut here. To, this will be the bottom part of my papel picado. And I'm going to cut along this edge here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can make an interesting bottom shape to the papel picado. So I'm going to cut this. go. And then I'm mostly focusing on this edge here. So I think I might just go with circles this time. Circle. Sometimes it's interesting to see what you can do with just one kind of shape. Again, make sure that your shapes that you cut out don't actually touch each other. Make sure they're separated from each other. So notice I'm rotating my paper as I'm cutting, rotating as I'm cutting. And it's okay if your cuts don't match your drawings exactly. They're just a little bit of a guideline. Rotating as I'm cutting. Now, if you want an extra challenge and you want to have something cut on this part, what you can do is open this a little bit like this. You do not want to cut anywhere near this, but if you want to cut this edge, you can. So what I did, notice I opened it and then I could cut a little bit on this edge if I want to, but you don't have to. I'm going to cut some diamonds on this side. squiggly cool shape here, maybe kind of a flower. Okay, so now what I've done is I've cut along, if I fold this again, you'll see I cut along here and I cut some shapes when I opened it up. Now I'm gonna open the whole thing up and see how it looks. Ooh. 
So when I cut that jaggedy border on the bottom, that turned out pretty cool. And then when I put all of these together, what I'll do is I'll put a string through the top and we will connect them all together.